Hey howdy hey partners, today we're going to compare Woody versus Woody versus Woody. Let's get into it. You're watching Today I Grew Up. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell as we're on our way to 100,000 subs. Hey howdy hey partners, excited to be with you here today. We have Woody versus Woody versus Woody. Uh, the Disney Store, this is for the epic toy giveaway I'm doing on my channel for 100k subs. So before I give it away, I wanted to do a comparison because it's in the box of what you get from the Disney Store. For $30, it's not a bad price. But does it look like the movie? No, it does not. But I do like the box art. The box looks 1950s retro to me, so that is pretty cool. And then it's neat to see it next to 2009 Cloud Pattern Woody from Thinkway Toys, Toy Story Collection. And then this one is my my not a toy company woody 2.0 mod and it's the brazilian rare thinkway toys 2009 body i did a lot of work on this woody if you want to see that it's on my movie accurate playlist click the card here for that playlist it's also pinned in the comments but i just wanted to show you these minor differences and major differences basically if from far away if people don't know you know maybe you're like oh they all look the same to me but I think to us collectors that want something from the movie, like a movie prop, you could definitely see right away, wow, that looks like the movie. And that definitely does not. And I think that with time, I hope toy companies get closer to something like the movie, like we see here. I think this looks obviously unbiased, but I think this looks like Andy's toy. And that's what I always wanted. When this line was advertised as exactly like the movie, John Lasseter says, exactly like the movie. Everything is exactly the way we figure the real Woody doll looks like. Um, we have eyes, John, and my eyes say this looks more like Andy's Woody, and that prop looks more like this. So things right away that are off on Disney Store versus Slinkway Toys is the belt buckle color. It's supposed to be yellow like that in the movie, and they got it to gold, and I don't think that looks good. The jeans look okay, but the spurs also, they're supposed to be yellow to match his belt. What we got from Thinkway Toys and Disney Store was not the accurate yellow color on the spurs. But the vest, I think they did a great job with the rare Clouds logo, but nobody really got that vest. A lot of people got this big clowny looking vest and the stitching comes off easily. That was the, that happened naturally over time even if it was mostly displayed, which it was. So that that's very interesting, but I, I don't know. I just think that I hope the toy companies can see this and give us what we want, which is this, a more accurate looking prop Woody. Metacom Woody is something that I got and I'm getting soon, hopefully. I wanna do more comparison reviews against this Woody versus that. I honestly think at the end of the day, this is the best Woody even over Metacom. And we can get into those details on another time. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Out of these Woodies, which one's your favorite one besides the prop one? Do you like Disney Store more or Thinkway Toys more? I personally think they're in order of what I like. Disney Store is third place. This Toy Story Collection is second place. And this is my first place because this was a personal labor of love. Definitely something I always wanted. The holster with the jewel is always something that looks awesome and something that we never got from Thinkway Toys. And the Disney Store, it's even worse than that because it's just kind of like a flat 2D. It's not even 3D that much, which looks okay. I think it's better than Thinkway Toys because at least it's yellow there. And here it's two gold and that's not accurate. Also, the spurs here are a little bit, they're yellow, but they're the wrong yellow and they don't even match the belt buckle. And then this is two gold. I never understand why they went with the gold belt buckle and the gold spurs because in the movie it is supposed to be this kind of gold, golden yellow, but it's like a bright yellow. I'm definitely biased, but that's my opinion overview of what I think about Woody versus Woody versus Woody. Also, the Disney Store postering ring is kind of big. The Toy Story Collection one is even bigger, I feel like. And my movie accurate one that I spent months finding, I feel is the best one because it looks most like the movie. But I don't know, let me know what you think about that. I feel like toy companies need to catch up to this kind of level of movie accuracy because it's just more fun and I think it looks more like the movie. Now here's a quick look of the boxes. 
John Lasseter said we think that it would look like this, but I think it looked would look more like the Disney Store one. And I like my custom box, obviously, because it looks like Stinky Pete's and it actually opens like Stinky Pete's. And I think that's if it's going to be from the same toys, Woody's Roundup toys, wouldn't it make sense that it would match Stinky Pete's box? So if I was in control of the toy company, I would be like, this is the closest, but we should do something like that to match Stinky Pete's box. because so that would make sense. The toy company would make something similar. And although I do like Thinkway Toys boxes, it's very classic now to me, I still think it's the, my least favorite. This is my first favorite, but the custom is the best. <laughs> so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Woody's boxes. Here's a look at Disney Store, Thinkway Toys box, and my custom box. And I would say that Disney Store is my favorite official one. Think which is my second favorite official one, and then this is my number one choice for custom if I was going to customize the box because I think it looks way better. Now, in terms of the back of the box, Thinkway Toys is actually my favorite because I love this classic vintage Woody from Woody's Roundup Show, it looks like, and I think that looks truer to the movie. That's why the custom box looks close to it because it's supposed to look more accurate to the 50s, and I think that box art totally nails it. But Thinkway Toys did the best here. Disney Store is my least favorite, I don't think it's going to be like that in the 1950s with the barcodes and all those little words there. I think that definitely does not look good. But those are just my thoughts on the back of the box. My custom is my favorite because it has like, you know, it opens on the side like Stinky Pete. And then my other favorite would be Thinkway Toys. I do like the top of the box better. Disney Store, it's okay. It's a little plain for me. So I think this is better for the official one. So there you have it, partners. My thoughts on Woody versus Woody versus this Woody. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about the woodies that are released on the toy market and what you have in your collection. As always, partners, thank you so much for supporting my journey here on YouTube. If you want to be part of the fun, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're alerted for future videos on this channel, and I'll see you, partners, on the next video review. You want the real buzz like you? You're a, uh, you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. Are a child plaything! Hey, Ham! Look! I'm Picasso! I don't get it.